Hello, I wanted to show you my banking system for Computercraft that I've been working on for quite some time. The idea is that you can deposit and extract items into a bank and those will be converted into a virtual currency that you can exchange with others remotely or use it to pay at shops. So here I have my debit card, I can insert it into the machine and log in and I can check my balance, currently I have zero diamonds. I can deposit some diamonds here I can insert some diamonds into this barrel detect them transform them into currency and I accept the diamonds have been deposited and now I have some money right now it is set up to be one diamond is a hundred dollars so it can also help dividing diamonds for smaller purchases I can also withdraw amount of diamonds for example 32 and I can get them here it converts them into blocks for for storage to maximize storage space here is a turtle that manages the storage and it will try to convert everything to blocks at the end of a session so if I exit now the turtle will optimize the money which means basically transforming everything into blocks to occupy the least amount of space. I can also transfer to other accounts. For example, if I want to transfer to Mumbo Jumbo, I can send him some money. So let's say I send him $500. And why? Because nice mustache. Extension successful. Now I can see the log. Here are all my transactions, and this is the latest one from today. I just sent him 500 because of my mustache. So you have a full log, you can make transactions. How do you get this card in the first place? Well, I'm guessing some player is going to be the owner of the bank. So they will have to work as an employee to distribute cards or uh, get clients into the bank. For that, they can just use this admin terminal. This is a password protected computer where you can create new accounts or you can delete accounts, see the transaction logs of anyone. And you can also link accounts to a card or phone. So let's create a new account. Let's say you are your you want an account and you'd like it to be green. So now your account exists. I want to give you a card. So let's get the green floppy disk, insert it here, and let's link an account to the card. Link it to viewer. Exit. Now this is a debit card for the bank. They could come in here, deposit something, and then with some money. So let's say I want to use my new card to buy things at the shop. I have a shop here, which is a color shop. It sells carpets and wool. Let's say I want to buy yellow carpet and yellow wood. So I can come here into the clerk. I can see the catalog and how much everything costs. I can buy stuff. So it says to buy insert a memory gold card into the disk drive. Okay. So I can have my card and insert it here. And now put the items you want into my inventory. And as I start putting the items in, it starts making a list of all the things I want to buy and how much that would cost, how much I have and how much I would have after the purchase. So I want to buy this. Registering. And when it's done, it says thank you for buying. You can now take your items from the chest. Come again, it gives me my disc back. And I can now leave with my items. You can see the log that I bought something at Color Shop. And it says what I bought and how much I spent. We can also have a pocket computer so that we can make transactions from afar. So if you wanted a pocket computer, an employee would have to take you in and get a computer with an Ender volume attached 
and link it as if it were a card. So put it in the disk drive, enter the code, and link account to card or phone. So I want to link it, for example, to viewer. And I also need to install the application on the phone. So click here. It installs the application. So now if I take this phone, which is memorable viewer, I can view my balance, view my logs, and I can also make transactions. For example, let's send Jassy ten dollars into smiley face. And I just sent Jassy ten dollars. The phone also works as a card if you wanted to shop or use the ATM. So if I wanted to buy, I can put the phone here and it's also a valid card. So how does the owner of the bank configure everything? Let's say you have a secure location. These programs don't provide a way to secure this uh, on its own. You'll need to see it for yourself. But here I have the server where I can change the language, change the currency to use diamonds, gold or emeralds. I can set how much one of these items is worth. Here are the bank's expenses values. So as players start exchanging with each other and buying at shops, this, they will start accumulating this value. Whenever they reach the limit, 6400 in this case, they will have to pay expenses to the owner. Here you can set who the owner of the bank is, which is just the person who receives the bank's expenses as payment. And also you can change the password of the admin terminal. So that's all of the parts of the bank. You can have only one server, but as many admin terminals, shops, and ATMs as you want. So I'll show you how to install them. To install all of the bank computers and turtles, you'll need to make an installer disk. And that can be done in any computer with a disk drive. So just plug this down have this disk in it, and I need to paste in this pastebin program. You can run it and it will in create the installer disk. So that's it. Now I have an installer disk. Now it's already prepared to install Permagold programs. Let's eject because I want to install this in other computers. How do we install the bank server? We need an advanced computer, a disk drive, and an Ender modem. Just like this. So I insert the installer disk, and when the computer turns on, I'm already uh, having a menu to select what do I want to install. Here's a help a menu to describe what the different parts of the bank do and how to install them. But for now, let's just install the bank server. It ejects the disk and now it's ready to do this. I, here I will set the owner, but I first need to create an account so that the, I can set it as the owner. Let's leave that on forever because this needs to be on a chunk that is always loaded, so probably near spawn chunks or have a chunk loader. This needs to be available to all computers at all times. So let's install the admin terminal. The admin terminal needs the same setup as the server. It's just drive an advanced computer and another Ender modem. Insert the disk and install admin terminal. And that's ready. The password by default is 1234. And now I can create accounts and link cards and perform all of these tasks. Let's create an account, test. and I can link it to a card. So let's say I want to install a phone, but the phone doesn't have a modem yet. So I install the application, I link it to an account, but when I try to use the phone, it says that it doesn't have a modem, and it's going to retry equipping a modem in my inventory. So the phone needs an Ender modem to be able to work at any distance. So I'm going to put the Ender modem in my inventory and it will automatically be assigned 
to the phone. Next, the ATM machine. This is the machine where the user can deposit or withdraw diamonds, as well as check their balance, logs, and transactions. So we just need to start a disk drive and a turtle, and we're going to install the ATM machine with auto setup. So it just explains what it's going to do. And first it needs a bit of fuel. Just a plank is enough. So I put a plank into the turtle's inventory and press any key. Now it's refueled. And now it gives me a list of the things that it needs. So I just take this from the chest. And as I start placing them in here, it begins. Once the list is done, it will place all of the components in the correct order and places, install the program into the computer, and that's it. There's an ATM, this is the assistant that manages the movement of diamonds between chests, and it's done. You may want to cover up everything so that the user can't access the chests that are behind or the turtle. Finally, the store clerk. This one doesn't have an automatic building sequence because it's pretty simple you just need a disk drive a turtle on top looking at a barrel and the turtle needs to have an ender modem that's it so to install the program we just need the installer if the turtle is already on we need to reboot it and here we can install store clerk Insert a card to configure. This is because when a shop is first created, it has no owner. So whenever you try to access it, it has nothing in it. But if I insert a card, it will imprint on it the owner of the machine. So here I can edit the shop, edit the catalog, and resign as owner. So that's it. Uh, how to set up the shop is pretty self-explanatory. You can follow the instructions and I'm sure you can figure it out. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.